everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my latest study is still life, uh, specifically clear glasses. Um, this is going to be one of at least two uh, videos, so stay tuned. Uh, I picked a red wine glass, um, so clear glass and with the uh, redness of the liquid inside of it. Uh, I picked a just a long stem traditional uh, red wine glass and obviously uh, a darker color, uh, dark color red uh, for the wine. So um, I did my pencil first as always, and I think that's probably one of your longest steps. Uh, so take your time with the pencil and uh, try to get the shape perfect for uh, the wine. In terms of the color, um, I'm using a lot of uh, blues uh, to uh, put the light and shadow in for the glass and to be consistent with the uh, same color background. Uh, a few tips and tricks. Um, have a variety of different shades of red for the uh, red uh, wine um, liquid color and um, to make sure that you have two or three uh, reflection lines uh, for the glass. Uh, that will, uh, and make sure that it is nicely curved uh, on the glass itself. Uh, to make sure that it is, uh, you depict the shape of the glass nicely. Uh, determine where your light source is coming from, either the light, uh, right or the left. And uh, to have a, that little trick is to have that little tiny edge of white of the paper around your glass, uh, in between your glass and say your background. Uh, that'll determine the shape of the glass and it'll pop it out uh, from the background. Uh, so it is very possible to do light and shadow on glass. Uh, I've been using a lot of uh, blues uh, and then a little bit of purples uh, for the background uh, uh, to make sure that the background pops out the uh, translucentness of the glass. Uh, so a lot of just texturing, uh, nothing too, too complicated. Uh, have a variety of lights and darks. Um, pick very, very specific uh, shapes and obviously do your research on Google image. Uh, see what other people are doing. Uh, see if you could study what they're doing uh, in terms of techniques. Uh, so a lot of people are using just the white of the paper for the rim of the glass and that'll make sure that the glass itself will stand out uh, from your background um, and use a very very thin paintbrush and then just a medium size uh, for the background. Uh, as I said, to get the shape of the glass out first uh, in pencil, uh, in this particular case I did not use any ink. Uh, I wanted to try to do this purely in watercolor, so give that a try. Uh, and then, obviously, you could use a wet paintbrush to subtract uh, some uh, light and shadow uh, if you put in uh, way too much color. So thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoyed this one, and stay tuned for uh, future videos.